email any um, classified material to anyone. There is no classified material. 110 emails in 52 email chains have been determined by the owning agency to contain classified information at the time they were sent or received. I provided all my emails that could possibly be work-related. Several thousand work-related emails that were not among the group of 30,000 emails returned by Secretary Clinton. I thought using one device would be simpler. She also used numerous mobile devices to send and to read email. There were no security breaches. It is possible that hostile actors gained access to Secretary Clinton's personal email account. It was my practice to communicate with State Department and other government officials on their .gov accounts. The hostile actors gained access to the private commercial email accounts of people with whom Secretary Clinton was in regular contact from her personal account. Um, no doubt that we've done exactly what we should have done. They were extremely careless in their handling of very sensitive, highly classified information. People will be able to judge for themselves. We cannot find a case that would support bringing criminal charges on these facts. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. To be clear, this is not to suggest that in similar circumstances, a person who engaged in this activity would face no consequences. Americans will find that, uh, you know, interesting, and I look forward to having a discussion uh, about that. But I want to say one thing to the American people. I want you to listen to me. I'm going to say this again. I did not have sexual relations with that woman, Miss Lewinsky. I never told anybody to lie, not a single time, never. These allegations are false, and I need to go back to work for the American people. Thank you. I responsibility for all my actions, both public and private, and that is why I'm speaking to you tonight. As you know, in a deposition in January, I was asked questions about my relationship with Monica Lewinsky. While my answers were legally accurate, I did not volunteer information. Indeed, I did have a relationship with Ms. Lewinsky that was not appropriate. In fact, it was wrong. It constituted a critical lapse in judgment and a personal failure on my part for which I am solely and completely responsible. But I told the grand jury today, and I say to you now, that at no time did I ask anyone to lie to hide or destroy evidence, or to take any other unlawful action. I know that my public comments and my silence about this matter gave a false impression. I misled people, including even my wife.